Hi friends, welcome to the show. It's me, George George. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in again. This has been a long journey with this $65 unit that I bought that has uncovered so many wonders and so many laughs, including for myself and for you guys. I have some of the knickknacks that I found in one of the uh, better videos that people seem to like is had the dirty stuff in it. I still have the handcuffs. I still have this. Uh, I'm still not sure what this is. Uh, I've got the mustaches. Um, these really big uh, fumble nuts, penny, and the nickel. But what we're going to be doing in this series of episodes is the unbagging. So there was a lot of bags in the unit that had, I'm going to guess, mostly just personal stuff. But we're going to find out. We're going to go through them. Some of the bags are really nice. I can't tell, so we're going to find out here in a little bit. Um... I am thinking about changing the name of the channel. I'm not changing my name. I'm still going to be George George, but I am toying with a couple names just to help people find the channel easier. They look up George George and they find a bunch of Russian stuff. I know it has something to do with Yorgi Yorgi, but um, it's really hard for people to find me. So I'm thinking about changing it to the risk factor, or if you guys have a suggestion, please drop it in the comments below. I'm open to suggestion. I'd love to hear what you guys and read what you guys have to your input is you guys make me so if you guys make me I want to make you laugh so that's that's the trade-off there so please in the comments below tell me what you think the channel should be called so please subscribe like the channel um, like the videos give the videos a thumbs up don't forget to share if you enjoyed it share a smile with somebody and make sure you stay to the end of the video because I've got a special surprise for everybody okay so this bag is a little frightening to me now it does feel like a chair, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked into it yet. But on the bag itself, it says Pooh's Jungle Adventure. The last jungle adventure I had did definitely did end in Pooh, so I'm a little worried this is coming back to haunt me. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, it is just, oh, it's a kid's chair. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank goodness, and it is Winnie the Pooh. Okay, great. And he is hiding behind some brush, so we can only assume that he is doing what he has to do. Is he a bear? Is he in the woods? Yes. Awesome. All right, so that is really nice. Kids will love this. All right, and here's the next bag. From what I've been told from Beth, who is with Adventures with the Hudsons, make sure you check out their channel if you haven't already, and subscribe and like their videos. They are an awesome couple, very loving. She told me that this is a potential 31 bag. Now, that means absolutely nothing to me. I have no clue what that means, and I'm going to research it later. And if you guys know what it is, please, in the comments below, tell me what a 31 bag is. To me, it's just a random number. But let's see what they got. Oh, awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Look at that. I'm not sure if I want to use it, but I definitely could use it. Well, first of all, it's a Yorgi's hat. I don't know why he left this behind. He hasn't come back yet. He is on his way. We've been in communications, and he told me he is on his way home. Uh, um, back, back from home. Left the socks as well. But a heating pad. Now, it is really dirty, but who wouldn't like a heating pad? We got a dirty heating pad. Very nice. I'll clean that up, and I'll more than likely use it. And it is a little chilly today, so that's why you guys see me wearing a hoodie. Um, sorry to the ladies, no guns today. But some of the fellas, I guess. Oh, we got a nice old pink turtle stuffed animal. Some more pom-poms. I might just keep these. Or when the honey's not feeling too good, I can just cheer up real quick. Get that. Go, go, honey, go, go. Oh, another pink stuffed animal. It says, kiss me, I will not. And I'll just take orders like that. Hey, a Care Bear, actually. I might send this over to Jeremy next time I go see him. He could probably do something good with that. And look at that. We have a a Yorgi Yorgi for Olaf himself. That is awesome. And only Oli. Hmm, what else do we got? Oh, oh, look at that. My video taking capabilities just grew because I now have a selfie stick. So no more clamp rig for me. Not sure how I'm going to hook this up. This is actually kind of nice. Yeah, I'll be making better videos for you guys. Some more dolphin stuff. More pom-poms. 
some 180s earmuffs. I'm pretty sure these are actually a pretty popular brand. So if I do decide to sell those, those can actually sell for like, oh no way, just got direct TV guys. Yes, I will be watching myself on the big screen. Oh, and here's the rest for that uh, selfie stick. Some wires for the selfie stick. Oh, Tinkerbell, one of my favorite. Her legs look a little weird, don't they? Maybe that's why they never really show them. This is a Moshi Monster. Once again, very popular. So, a tire for her Barbie. And her best friend. Um, this might be Ariel, actually. Hmm. She's got numbers on her neck. 04421. Not sure what that means. It's our postal code, I guess. Happy baby. Alright, some more accessories and Barbies. Not bad. Not a bad box. And some stuff for the personal file that I'm going to hopefully deliver. Alright, so that's the end of the 31 bag. Not a bad bag. Had a lot of nice toys in it. And a new selfie stick for me. Alright, so here's the next bag and it says... Don't worry, Santa got your text. Now, I really hope I don't get charged long distance for those text messages, but I'm glad he got them. And on here is a bunch of emojis, which is one of my favorite is the little poop emoji, of course. Christmas tree and the cute cat with the hard eyes, which I'm also a fan of. And the bag is actually broken, so I'm just going to open it my way. Just kind of just And right off the rip, he's got tutu stuff. So he got somebody else's text. Definitely not mine. Oh, excellent. More Christmas stuff from before. That is cool. I like stockings. I like having stockings, especially plain ones, because I can reuse these now for my family. We'll have seven or eight stockings per person. Santa won't know what to do. He'll just have to fill them up. A nice little elf. Oh, cool. Uh, little pink Christmas tree decorations. Very nice. I want a silver one to match. Very nice. Those might end up in the studio, if I ever have a studio. Another elf. Seems like everything's coming in pairs. Oh, neat. Yes, yeah, see, these are the types of mugs I like. That is definitely a big size mug. I'll definitely be having some hot cocoa in there. Oh, these are candles. There's spiders in there. It's not good. I know they made spider-scented candles. It's strange. I feel like it's more of a Halloween type decoration. Oh wow, we have a little bit of angels. Oh, some more music boxes to go with the ones that I found before. And this one is really pretty. I wonder why these ones are separated from the other ones. Some more clothes. Oh, of course the man himself, Jesus. Praise him. Oh, and a lot more music box. Oh, and a manger. Oh, no, I hope it's not broken. I hear I hear the crunching sound of porcelain or glass. Like everything is trying to make music at once. Look at that, a beautiful manger. Oh, that's one of my favorite songs. Who's making that noise? Is it Frosty? It is. Oh, that's nice. And these are ornaments. How crazy. These are kind of heavy. But I love it. This will definitely go in my tree. We have a... Uh, it's not Rudolph. I'm not sure which one it is. He's got a Switzerland scarf on. So maybe it's Blitzen? Maybe. Blitzen sounds Swiss. Oh, cool. Another one of my favorite songs. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There's the broken piece. Oh, that's beautiful. If I had a mantle, this would go on the mantle. Oh, and there she is. Oh, man. Ooh, she was quartered. That's not great. I might be able to fix that. I think I found some nail glue earlier in this unit, so yeah, I'll try to put it back together. Of course, the three wise men. That's very nice. This is great. With Christmas coming up, this is perfect. Some bulbs. Some more bulbs. Those things. Oh, 
another elf. And that's what this day. It's just a bunch of more little balls and stuff. Oh, there's the star. That's kind of nice. All right, cool. All right, so just like my sister George, I love finding suitcases. There's so many surprises that you can find in suitcases. You never know what you're going to get. And they had one in this unit, so I'm super stoked. It has an ominous white stain on it. We're not going to discuss it. It says essentials. Let's get to it and see what we got. I'm not going to go straight into it. I'm going to check this pocket first. Nothing. All right, so I am going to get straight into it. Oh, before I do, though, there is a tag on it. It says United Express. And that's it. So we don't even know where they flew in from or flew to. And it's toys. Oh, hey. Yeah, it's just a bunch of Smurfs. So this is the Smurf Village. This is where they've been hiding. They haven't made a movie in a while. Oh, and they've got their flutes. Wow, they all have flutes. And some fish. Something to snack on while they're in there. It's very nice. And one drink. They're sharing one drink. That's crazy. Let's carry on. That's it, I think. So the entire Smurf Village in a small suitcase. Not bad. Oh, and they had some, well, they killed something. Dinosaur skull. All right, so next we have this OGIO backpack. This thing is heavy duty. It is really nice. I was super excited to see it when I opened the, the, um, the door to the storage unit. This thing like struck me as like a hiking bag almost or something you'd have a laptop in. So let's hope for a laptop. I haven't gotten one yet. Let's get into it. School supplies, oh, that removes, yeah, that's just school supplies. Something special in there. But look at the quality, this is still in decent condition. There's not, no stains, no rips, no tears. A little bit of scratching on the buckles, but that's okay. Pop that bad boy, oh, wait, a little pocket on the side, nothing. All right, oh, bags inside, bags. Valley City furniture, a lot less expensive, but still. Oh man, I'm really hoping for a laptop. I don't see a laptop. I think it's just schoolwork and maybe some essential paperwork, which we've been finding a lot of. Yeah, I'm just not that great. Oh, more school supplies. Oh, and some headphones. Excellent. Use those never. Some food. A pastry crisp. It's blueberry. Let's see if there's a date on it. Ah, I'll probably still eat it later. Cough drops. Oh, nice. A back part. Oh, cool. Core Power High Protein Milkshake. Well, I could definitely use one of those right now. I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast yet. It says August, but it doesn't say a date, so it must still be good. And, whoa, fine pens. Must be a trick bag to keep people from going through it. They throw pens at you. Nothing in there. Check this. Oh, gosh. Okay, just napkins. None of those small pink napkins that I keep finding, I don't think. Some more school supplies, so awesome. Here we go. Open. Oh, it's a, it's a light. Oh, 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 I think it's a book clip light so that you can read in the dark. Because candles are kind of outdated. I still like reading by candlelight. Oh, yes, a USB. Oh, nice. Oh, Columbus State. Columbus State USB. So here we go. I've got something to go through later on. If I find anything cool, along with those other things that I found before. Oh, some more headphones. A lot more headphones. These look like the ones you get on airplanes, though. I don't know if they still hand these out or if they, uh... I know they used to do the ones that go over your ears. But maybe they upgraded them, because I'm pretty sure those look like... I don't even know what this is. It says granola bar, but I don't trust it. It feels kind of chunky. Brownies. Oh, that's neat. Oh, man, it's a it's a Yorgi Yorgi notepad. Very cool. Bunch of post-it notes. Nice. I like, I'm liking this. I love pencils. Of course, who doesn't? Some more napkins. Yes! Another dime. My money value just keeps going up, up, up with this unit. Oh man, here we go again. Another dime. So wonderful. And then this bag alone. I don't see why I easily couldn't get 50 bucks for this bag if I wanted to give it away. I might actually keep it. This is really nice. Awesome. So nothing too super. Oh wait, we still have a pink bag. I'm always jumping ahead. 
I guess. It's just school books and stuff. There's the important mail. So I almost went over and forgot about this bag of nothing to show you guys. That's it.